Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial we are going to look at one of the example sketches and it is called the simple time sketch that allows you to get your local time and display it on the serial monitor. Later on we are going to display it on this LCD display and this is a very powerful example that shows you the advantage of the Wi-Fi capability of the ESP32 board. To open up the sketch you could go to file examples then under esp32 we have time and simple time if you haven't watched my first video about installing the esp32 package make sure to check it out on top we are including the libraries that we need like the wi-fi library to connect to the internet the time library that allows you to get the local time from the ntp server first you have to provide it with the sid and password because the ESP32 board needs to be connected to an access point or a router and it acts as a station like all of the devices and once it gets connected to the internet through the router the ESP32 board can request the date and the time of your country from this NTP server like the pool.ntp.org which is basically a service that is located on the internet that allows you to get the time and the date then we can receive this information and do any kind of stuff like displaying it on the serial monitor or in the next video i will use this lcd display to print the date and the time and it's going to be a cool project for me i will use this network that is called my network and that's the sid name then the password also, we have the NTP server, which is pool.ntp.org. And here's another server that you could use with the same way. Next, you have to change these two parameters. The first one is called GMT offset in seconds. And it is the difference between your local time and the GMT time. For me, it is 3600 seconds, which means one hour. Just search for GMT offset. Then the name of your country like Tunisia sometimes you can get the name UTC or universal time clock it's the same thing as GMT for me it is one hour and the last parameter is the daylight offset in seconds in most cases it is 3600 and that's pretty much it so this is going to call this function print local time that will get the time from the NTP server and it gets printed on the serial monitor using this line of code. Basically, we pass in this address time info extract that contains the information. If you want to get the full weekday, you could use percentage uppercase A. The month is percentage B. You could display the hour using percentage H and so on. And once you modify these parameters, we can upload this sketch after selecting the board from this drop menu and the port of the USB cable which is COM6 or you could go to tools then board ESP32 I'm gonna search for the kind of board that I have which is a node MCU32S and the port of the USB cable it is COM6 then we can hit upload and if you get the message connecting under this output area Make sure to hold down the boot key, which will start uploading the code to the board. And there you go, it is done. Let's open up the serial monitor from this icon. Make sure that you are using the same board rate, which is 11500. And it is set under the setup function, 11500. And yep, we have the date and the time displayed on the serial monitor. And these information are displayed each 5 seconds. So let's go to the loop. We have this delay 5000, which means 5 seconds. Then this function print local time is called. You can change it to 1 sec using 1000. And let's hit upload again. The same thing, you have to hold down the boot key. And now it is printed each second. So here we have connecting to my network. 
then we have the day of the week, the day of the month, and so on. So I think that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comments, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.